All right, so there's plenty in Galana, but a shortage in Kenya's Kakamega County. Listen to this one. Now, that county may be famed for its people's love of chicken as the main delicacy, even earning the name Chicken Headquarters. However, the county, contrary to stereotypes, is a net importer of chicken, with many suppliers now saying there's a serious shortage of chicken. As KTN's Western Kenya reporter Dorcas Wangira tells us, this is a matter of serious concern. <laughs> Kakamega is well known as Ingo for those who call it home in the land of Ingoho, the Luya word for chicken. Visitors, according to custom, must be honored with a good chicken meal. And any occasion isn't complete without a chicken meal as well. And the stereotype that Kakamega is an all chicken, all the time county isn't always true. And as the county's population, standing at 1.6 million strong as per the last census, continues to grow, the demand for chicken to meet their dietary needs increases. The supply, however, is a different story. Suppliers and consumers of chicken say the county is producing, but it's not enough to meet its needs. Wilson Anungo Tsihungu has been selling chicken for 10 years. He says that when he started plying his trade till now in Shikoti, he could supply from his own farm. But now he has to get chicken from as far as Lubao, Matete, Kipkaren, Nandi, and sometimes Wasingishu County. Mokweli, watu wa Western wanapenda kuku sana. Kuliko watu wengine. Hata umuta kienda ukeni, asipokula kuku, akisikia meenda ukeni. Lakini siyati kila mtu wa kanayo. Kila, kila mtu wa kanayo. Kila mtu wa kanayo. Kila mtu wa kanayo. Wanatumia tu kununua sana. Mm. Naona ni watu wamekuja kuwa wengi wakula kuku. Lakini kuku zenyewe zinapatikana wa uchaja juu kila kabila siku hizi meingilia mambo wakula kuku. Sija kule waluya peke yake. Anaweza kula marambili kwa mwezi. Kwa sababu sina uwezo wakujimutu wa kununua kuku kila siku. The county government acknowledges the deficit, estimating Kakamega supplying power at 60% of its consumption need of 2,000 chicken a day, the 40% coming from other counties. The county director for agriculture, Kudlati Wangia, says there's a Marshall plan to partner with other counties in bridging the gap, such as Bungoma's Chwele chicken plant, whose target is producing 12,000 chicken a day. This financial year, we are giving out 126,000 uh, one-day uh, chicks for our farmer groups to enhance production. At the same time, giving 96,000 30 days old chick. That's one month old chick. The, why we have the two groups is that most of our farmers who have been operating on chicken, who have a little bit of knowledge, can be able to sustain one day old chick. But if they are those basic ones, it's so difficult. That's why we grow them and uh, uh, give them at a subsidized rate after one month. This is in line with uh, enhanced production. Private partners such as Agrix ICS say the shortage is largely due to the over-dependence on traditional weeds that are popularly referred to as the real thing and are reaching out to farmers to go for the improved Kenyeji, a crossbreed of a traditional breed and a broiler, which is both a broiler and a lair. The latter grows faster and has tender meat that's easy to cook and would easily sell to hotels in terms of preference. Because disease is prevalent, better practices in feeding and vaccination are needed. All the eggs we, you know, we consume in this region, they come either from Uganda or from North Rift or even from Central Kenya. You know. And um, one problem uh, is a management issue. When it comes to poultry, the animal production management is critical. Many of our farmers, they've been discouraged to keep poultry because of, especially when it comes to diseases and the, feed, and, and the cost relating to feeding and all that. The picture painted here is not one of a county running out of chicken entirely, but the worrying trend of an unbalanced demand and supply chain, improving livelihoods of farmers and sustaining a culture that is synonymous with chicken is key. Dorcas Wangira, KTN News, Kakamega.